Today I'll be installing an official Lexus trailer hitch into my GX460. Alright, so I recently purchased a Lexus 2014 GX460 and it just so happened that even though it was a luxury edition, it did not have the actual trailer hitch. Now, that being said, I believe it's a true statement to say that all GX460s all have all the controls and wiring and such for the trailer hitch built in to the car itself. It's just the trailer hitch itself was not on the car. So it didn't come with it. So I started looking to add the official Lexus trailer hitch to the car. And I also noticed that there were some other options. And I kind of want to throw just a few of these things out at you. So uh, the official Lexus trailer hitch looks something like this. This is not actually the exact hitch, but it's close. This is another like a Lexus 570 or something. Uh, but it looks pretty similar to this. It's the only clean picture because most of the pictures of these are already installed on the truck and you can't really see it. Um, now you also have the option of possibly installing something like this. This is called a Kurt and it's a lot cheaper. It's only like 120 bucks. However, it's only rated up to 5,000 pounds and the GX has a rating of towing up to 6,800 pounds. And so if you really want the max out of your vehicle, it's best to get the official Lexus mount because it's like a big wishbone that locks into the vehicle instead of just this little tiny mount uh, like the Kurt is. Uh, but if you're only, you know, towing ATVs and stuff like that and you only need, you know, three, four thousand pounds worth of towing, then this is a perfect simple option. Take you five minutes to put it on the car and you're good to go. Now, if you decide to go with the Lexus version, not only uh, do you get the full, you know, 6,800 pounds worth of towing capacity, but keep in mind you have to buy a few things. That's just the hitch itself. Then you have to buy the ball mount. And then, of course, you have to buy the ball itself. And when you go to buy the ball, make sure that you get something that's rated at 7,000 pounds and not a 5,000 pound ball on a 6,800 pound system. So these are little gotchas that I kind of went through the process of doing this. So the price of the official hitch is somewhere in the range. You can find them kind of all over the place, but the official price is somewhere around 400 bucks. Uh, you can find them in the range of like 250 all the way up to 400, 450. Uh, however, keep in mind that if you do find it for 250, you're going to pay $100 to ship it to you. So um, if you could find it locally and they can match some prices, uh, that's probably the best thing to do. Uh, the the ball mount is somewhere around 50 bucks, and then a, a ball itself is only in the $15 range. Um, so I ended up getting my system for about, I want to say, 350 bucks out the door, plus the ball. So as you can see, it comes in this pretty huge box, and uh, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to get started. The first thing you need to do um, is drop the spare tire, and there is some tools that are inside your door that will allow you to open up a little hole in the bumper and stick this tool in there and actually ratchet down, if you will, um, the actual tire to the ground. So the kit itself comes with everything you need. It has all brand new bolts because obviously the bolts need to be longer because you're adding something to where the original bolts were. It has a covering for the extended wires you're going to be using, it has all the plates, uh, it should have instructions. Um, it's, it's pretty all-in-one kit, perfect ready to go. The only tools you need is some metric uh, sockets and a torque wrench and then maybe a flathead screwdriver and a panel release uh, pry tool if you will would make it a little easier because there's one plastic device you have to remove. So the first thing you need to remove is the tow hook, which is shown in this picture. The next thing that you need to do is use your pry tool to take off two plastic tabs that are holding this cover, plastic cover if you will, on this uh, air compressor for your air shocks. Now, the only reason you need to do this is because it's in the way of mounting the bracket 
but once the toe hitch is on, you just put this back in place. Next, drop the muffler from the rubber uh, grommet that's holding it up. Now, I had some issues doing that, so I'll explain later what I did to get around it. So the next thing you need to do is actually remove the harness from the actual connector. And let me show you, because there was a little bit of a caveat. The key to removing this is not pressing here, but actually pressing behind the releases back here. You'll feel a fall off and then the release is back here. I spent like 20 minutes trying to push this area. I couldn't get it to release, but as soon as I got back here, it released instantly. So this is actually pretty smart by Lexus. When the vehicle comes stock without a trailer hitch, they have it all pre-wired and there's a bracket that's maybe recessed five or eight inches back from where it's actually gonna be once it's on the trailer hitch. And so what they do is they uh, wrap up the cable and put it behind the uh, sheath, if you will. And so what you do is you go in and you take the sheath back, you unwrap the wires and boom, there's your extra eight, 10 inches there. And then uh, you just put the new uh, wire covering on. It's, it's actually a pretty brilliant little system that they have worked out. It makes it really simple instead of adding more wires and stuff like that. Now it's time to put the new wire harness bracket included with the kit onto the trailer hitch. I'm gonna leave this loose so it's easier for me to put the wires back onto it. Then there's a bunch of bolts uh, that connect the fascia, basically the, the back bumper to the uh, frame underneath you're gonna to wanna to remove those bolts. So then it comes to the fun part, and that's actually getting the wishbone tow hitch onto the vehicle. Now, as you can see, the Lexus itself is tall enough that you don't need to put it up on a you know jack stands or raise it up or anything like that. And honestly, if you did, um, you would need a few people to actually lift this up, hold it in place while someone else screws it in. Since I didn't lift the vehicle up, you can, and I did it by myself, getting this thing onto the car by actually, you know, laying perpendicular to the car and having my arms on one side of the tow hitch and use my knees to actually bring up the other side of the tow hitch to the car. And then I got a few bolts started. Um, so if you could have two people to do this, it'd be a lot easier. And you can see in these pictures that, you know, there's four bolts uh, on each side that you got to put in and sometimes it's going through a bracket so like the tow hitch goes back over the tow hitch um, so you know start the bolts and then you could come back later and put the uh, tow hitch on uh, just to get it up there the reason you have to take this off is because when you get it out of the way you're allowed to get this last bolt in right there but you got two bolts here you got two bolts here it's the same thing on the other side. However, on the other side, you have a muffler in the way. So if you're able to get the muffler off the rubber grommet so it will drop down a little bit, then you could pretty much do this on your own. However, I found it difficult to do that. So I just got uh, a second person with a uh, pry bar just to pry the rubber over so you had enough room to get the sockets in there. So. Two big bolts, two small bolts back there. Then up here you have uh, two bolts that hold on your new bracket, which are right there. And then there's two spacers that go here and four bolts that go in here, which is carrying most of the load. And uh, that's about it. So there you go, there's the final install, looks great. The uh, K2 
kit comes with a cover and I would say it took myself uh, about an hour and a half to do. I think if you had two people you could probably whip it off in about an hour. So uh, there you go. Hope this helps some people that have Lexus GX460s.